Right, hello, this is um, part two of the decorating the uh, Scholar's Ledger journal from Nick the Booksmith, you know, from her course. Um, right, what I'd done last night was, well, only took ten minutes, but I went round and just stuck some lace because I, I only had like five metres of this really fine lace. I've got quite a bit left actually, but I wanted to make sure that it, went right across the book okay so um, I think you saw me do the, the front bits but I actually put some on some pages that I felt needed a bit of support like here on the end of there for when that clips out so I put some there and I've just gone through the book and literally done that I haven't put anything on that one yet because I'm not sure whether I'm gonna I think I'm gonna keep that as a tuck spot and continue that way I put oh, I put some on that page there I sorted out where I wanted the pockets through the book so I've got I thought I'd have a pocket on each inside page of each beginning of each signature all right so that was that one then on the next signature I thought I'd do some of these which I will show you that that. Hold on a minute. All right, my neighbours have gone in. <laughs> oh dear. Anyway, uh, these um, I got from uh, this sheet here. I know I've got journaling cards similar, but I haven't used this sheet, so I thought I'd utilise it and cut the pieces out. Okay, and use them. And I thought they would look quite nice on the bags. And then we got a tuck spot there. Um, I'm left with this now I'm, I'm looking at this here this one especially and I think because we've had to cut into it at the corner here okay and we've left here I think we could fussy cut all around here yeah and then do that black bit there come down here and then do this big pink one here and then come down and I think that would look some nice somewhere on a page especially on that side yeah, and then you've got that big sunflower poking over. I think so. I'm definitely going to do that. And then we've got these sunflowers here. In, and that little child there with the sun, just the sunflowers, would look nice. You could, in theory, use that top piece there for, you know, something on the top of a page. And then you've got this little box here that would look quite nice. Here, maybe too much chopped into that bit. Definitely use some of that there because we could cut that out or even just that, yeah? And then you would, perhaps we could salvage some of this, the wording, especially Sutton Seas. That could be stuck somewhere, yeah? So I'm going to go ahead and do that a minute while I thought of it. Or else, um, and we'll come back to the bags because they're just normal, aren't they? Just to cover those bags, right? So I'll go ahead and cut that out and then I'll get back to you and show you what I mean. There we go, that's what I mean about cutting bits out that you can use, and you just either glue them down or use double sided sticky tape. These ones I will most probably put double sided sticky tape on them straight away now and then put them in my little dish ready, okay? And these I'll most probably glue down. So but there's things to utilise on a page, so we'll keep them separate for now in case we need them. And then I will back these in double sided sticky tape first. Okay, they're all done. Uh, all I've done was stick some sticky tape on the back so they're ready to use. Okay. Surprising, those little bits come really in handy, you know, through the book. If you just want that little thing, right? So, that's that. So, I was going to show you was where I thought, you know, something like say this, you know, could cover, you know, if you didn't like this sort of thing, I would most probably say put that right there, and you could back it in card and make it into a tuck spot quite easily. But that takes the eye away from that. Um, that you know, that's or even that stuck there. 
yeah and you could again back it on card and that could be a little tuck spot which I think that's what I'm going to do because I really like that there that's just perfectly and then we'll just glue it down here here and then on this flower here then you've got a little tuck spot yeah I might even stitch around here stitch it to some card right that's what I'm going to do right so I'll go ahead and do that and I'll be back okay so just stitch around that and I think we will ink the edges and then glue that in see that come to me just looking through the book thinking yeah, tuck spot there I might actually just round that corner there too. So I've just backed the card up to there because I'm going to stick this flower down so I don't need too much support there. Okay, and then I'm going to round that corner but with the small one. What's this one? Ah, perhaps not. Oh yeah, you can. straight edges there. I'm going to come down about there and then stick that about there. Okay, so we just glue around that side, the flower, definitely. And um, glue, glue down there and there and then the flower. I always have to double check myself doing this because the times I've done it wrong. Okay. <laughs> I thought, oh well, it's not a tuck spot anymore. <laughs> oh, I hope you can see it. Nice bit over those stitches there. Okay, that's that done, and I thought we would put that down here because there's a little bit of a gap there. Okay, so I'm gonna ink the edges first though. That's it. Okay. Actually slightly over that way I think. There we go. And that might be dry enough to say, just show you what I mean. This one's a bit big, really, but that become a tuck spot, yeah. So I have to get a smaller tag for in there. Oh, these the bingo one there. Look, well, shouldn't have bingo, I suppose, in children, but that, yeah, that look nice there. So I'm going to do that now. Okay, there we go. That's that bit done. So that's brightened up that page there. Here, we most probably have some kind of pocket. I think a vellum pocket would look quite nice here, actually. So you could still see the writing through. Something vellum, anyway, on the top of that. That would look nice. Or we could um, gesso it, I think, maybe. And then you could write on it. Because, you know, that's quite a lot thickness there so we don't want it too thick there do we so I'm going to do that so I'm just going to go and get the gesso okay I've got the gesso and loaded up the brush but you, you need it almost um, dry really so I'm going to get most of that off because I don't want, to, don't want too much over it so just to just go lightly that's it pick up some of that that we've done on there can always add more but if you go in straight away loads of gesso it's sometimes can look a bit odd here we go right so that's be need to be dried off or left dry before you continue or 
because it still sticks to the acetate and you might rip it so it's best to dry it off here we go that's all nice and dry so you could literally write over that now okay or put something else over it you know you can stick a picture there but it's it's not so prominent and I will I will do that with every page that I don't do something on in the front so you know because we don't the text is okay but yeah and that's quite handy if you get a word that you've put in and you've got a word that's not you know politically correct or or you know you know what I mean <laughs> you don't really want to be reading about so you could cover it that way as well it's one way of doing it you know I've learned I've learned that because <laughs> I've I have done that as well and I'm like oh my god what am I gonna, what am I gonna do you know see not a naughty word or something so that's that so I'm going to stick some pockets in now because that come to me like out of the blue there so I'm going to put the pockets in that I've already done here and then there's other ones that we're going to make up because I'm I've, I've got four of those I could print another set out but I don't want to I'll make some pockets up okay so these I saw Yvonne Preston Yvonne Crafty White is it Yvonne Crafty White Preston oh sorry I know, she, I, so long her name. She knows I have problems with it. But anyway, she she started off, I think, sticking them down like this. And without doing the flaps over. Because that's how they're supposed to be. And do you know what? I really like it. And I think, no, that's cool. Because you don't, sometimes when you put the flap there, okay, which makes too big of a pocket and then things flap around in it. And this way, it keeps a pocket quite flat which I think sometimes you know especially in a like a journal like this you, you you try and avoid too much bulk so that's what I'm going to do today so I'm just going to put the beady glue down the side there down the edge like so make it just so oh, I didn't stick the bottom did I there we go a bit of bead of glue down there was everything would fall out <laughs> yes I've done that before and oh, we didn't I think here we go forgetful day today by the look of it That. So I'm going to stick the other ones in. Oh, I haven't got them every signature. I've got them every other, I think, because we're going to do something different for a pocket on that one. So it should be here. This one's going to be a double pocket there. Let's ink them up this time. That's because last time I was doing this, my friend inked a load of things up, so I, I didn't do have to do very much. She went round and inked everything for me, but she's not been well. She was supposed to be coming today, but I um, I get it wrong sometimes, and she's not got she's not got the internet at the moment, so I can't really contact her. But I suppose she'll turn up tomorrow. <laughs> I always get it wrong when she says, "Oh, I'll come Tuesday next week or Wednesday," and. And we do sort of like art and things together, really. I usually get her right, inking everything up for me. <laughs> she gets the best jobs. This one, um, you can't, I don't think we can do it flat out because of the width. If I remember rightly. Yeah, it's just a tad long, so these will be how they were supposed to be. I mean, I could put a flap on the bottom, you know, as well, but I don't think it's needed for them. Let's make sure that's straight there. Yeah, glue's coming out a bit fast today. Okay, well 
I stuck those in, stuck the pockets in, and I've just sewed this bit here. And I cut a bit of this fabric off that I had in my box, which no idea what that was, but I'll cut some of that off. There's one of the pieces that oh, I've cut off. So I thought I was going to stitch around that. All right, that's going to become a little pocket. Yeah, and the bit that we had earlier that I put sticky back, double sticky tape, double sided sticky tape on. Well, I'll stick that there, then I'll actually most probably sew around that. Okay, and that's going to go there, a little bit straighter. And then we have a tiny little pocket in here. Okay, so I'm going to do that. I'm going to stick that on first and then sew around that. There we go, and I'll just go and sew around it and I'll be back. Here we go, let's all stitch around. So now it's sticking to me, I've got glue everywhere today. It's definitely a glue day. <laughs> and then I'm going to stick that down there. Right, Fabri Tac, where are you? Here we are. I'll leave the top open, that you can see, because sometimes you can't see when I'm down there. Right. Just glue around three edges. Okay. And line up that stitch in with that so it looks like you've actually stitched that pocket in then. Even though it's an afterthought. I mean, yes, you can do things like this before, but to be honest, I never know what I'm going to do and how the book, if my books tend to evolve, you know, bit by bit. I, you know, I don't have a plan, so a lot of things I find out how to do after the signatures have been st stitched in. There we go, and then you've got a nice little tuck spot there. Okay, okay, stick the next pockets in, which is here. We'll do that one. Okay, right, on to the next thing which we've got this one here. Uh, oh yes, I was gonna cover up that there. And I thought that looked nice with the yellow. So I've brought that in and then we'll just sew that and maybe put something here. I'm not sure that will be plain actually. No, I'm gonna keep that one plain. We'll do something on the back of that one. Okay, so if I go and stick that down there. There we go, and then we've got a nice journaling spot there. Let's put some acetate down before we turn over. Oh, knocked the, knocked the camera then. And then we need to cover. Mind you, I suppose it's... Um, that's okay. That's got a bit of Cornwall here in that. <laughs> I think... I know what these come from. I think it's... My mum was a paraplegic. And she had, you know, like care teams and that. So these are her things that they had to write in I think so we've got quite a lot left because she passed away a few years ago and so we've got a lot of those left so it feels like you've got part of my mother there <laughs> and she would love it that we're using it so um, just say that page okay that's nice and dry so I thought I would um, on the back of here do a bit of decoupage napkin with my one and only sunflower napkin so can't use um you can't go overboard with this one well i don't think you'd want to anyway because you only need maybe one of those flowers up there would, would would work so i can get quite a bit up out of that 
also I'll, I'll most probably print some out of myself I've got some of my you know work that I do and I'll print I'll print some of the flowers out that I've got um oh another thing is you know sunflower quotes I shall try and find some tonight and put them in my album marked quotes in Pinterest on Pinterest so if you follow me on Pinterest just go to my album I'll, I'll, I'll search them out tonight so I quite like doing things like that anyway and any excuse to get on Pinterest because I love it it's my favorite place all right so what I'm gonna do what do we want I quite fancy that flower that's gonna be too big there so it's going to be yeah sort of this bit here so I'm going to rip this as you do come down around that flower there I know I could cut it out but I actually like a jagged edge so I find it works better if I don't cut it come down there I don't really want that border, so let's take that off. There we go. And then that is going to go on that page like so. Yeah? Okay, get my decoupage glue out because, as you know, I use a watered-down version, so it's not too sticky. Well, I open that one. Uh, Abby will have to do that later for me. He's not around at the moment, so I'll just mix them up. So all I do is put a bit of glue in, and then I add some water. It's usually about two to one. I don't measure it because I sort of know. Also know by the consistency on my brush. Which that is fine. Okay. Oops. Wandering brush today. just don't like glue too tacky for decoupage and also it gets quite shiny too if you just leave it neat with this way it seems to be fine and I used to get it all oh, I don't know break through it easy and it used to rise up I never was very good good at good at it until I done this now I find I can decoupage anything I'm concentrating. <laughs> That's because I'm on camera. <laughs> so you can guarantee, can't you? If you're going to go wrong, it will do when you're on camera. Right, that's all dry now. As you can see, I leave it, left it dry. And yeah it's turned out really nice okay so that goes nicely and then while that was drying i thought this butterfly i love the color and it's i think they actually come with the kit i can't remember the sunflower kit i might have put butterflies in there it's funny how they were with it when i but i will have to check i can't remember if they're not with it then i will do a sheet for you and put them as a freebie in my uh, on my website okay and I thought I was going to put that there and I'm going to use glossy accents on the butterfly yeah then that little bit we cut off here from earlier I thought would go there like so and then this journaling card which I shrunk down is going to go here 
So all I've done there is stitch around, okay? Maybe put a little bit of glossy accents on these two, which if I do the glossy accents, I will do them first. I'll put that away until I'm ready um, because I can leave them to dry. I don't want to attach them before I do them because they take, look, glossy accents seems to take ages, ages to dry. So let's put that out of the way and let's do this. All I do, this is an old one actually. Oh, let's put my bracelet out of the way. I have got a new one, but I thought I'd better use this up. If you've not heard of it, it's very good for gluing actually. Anything that's a little bit stubborn, it's brilliant. But if you haven't heard of it, it dries like glass. With slight raised effect and it's pretty cool I used to do use this on card making quite a bit really so I didn't have to go and buy it okay and that's just got to be left literally to dry but as you can see it's nice glass effect this one's a little because it's older it's a little bit thicker it's usually slightly runnier than this okay we'll leave that to dry and put them in later I shall mark the page where I want them though or else I only forget <laughs> alright let's put that to dry somewhere here we are so I Put your gesso down there and then I've got this one here where I don't really want this bit here. Um, this I've done earlier. I can't even, I think I stamped it actually. But it, yes, it's too big. All right, so what I'm going to do here is cut that down. I want that pocket to be sort of quite central here. And then we can put some, something in there and it's quite, it's not, it's quite thin. So I will cut that off and then stitch it and then we can use it as a pocket and then we can get two pockets out of this then. What I do with the other one is, I don't know whether I've got my scissors or not, I sort of do that and then I cut this with fancy edge scissors which I will find. Ah, there they are. Okay. So that's the pocket that we're left with. Yeah. So what we want to do is do a little bit of a shape there so we can neutralize that. We don't have to do this, but I quite like doing it. So I line those two edges up. Yeah. And then I cut downwards is it cut it is it like that okay and then there we go all right so we've got quite centralized pocket there with a little opening okay that's someone so we use that one somewhere towards the back I expect I'm just going to go and stitch around this so we can then stick that in like that. I quite like this bit hanging over. Glassine bags are quite strong, so that's okay. And I quite like that, and I like the way that looks from here. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. Okay, that's all done there. So we'll glue that down. There we go, and then we got a little touch spot there. Let's have a look, see where we can put the other one. What have we got here? Which I think will do that. Okay. Maybe Put a bit of lace actually down there all right and then that hangs over the page i think i'll do that now because i quite like that look 
Let's just cut that off. I can guess guess over the page after, so. So that's made quite a nice little tuck spot there. And we could now put a little bit of like um, lace or actually we've got, we've got some more of this green. Oh, I love this one. I love that so much. Oops. That would go actually looking at it. There we go. Well, it's brightened up that little area. Check that's dry before we carry on. That will be all right. Seven seeds. <laughs> 